and it keeps on going. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having amazing the XRPs around 51, 52 cents, guys. Just floating around. But Bitcoin, above 45k, right? This is very beautiful, guys, because we need Bitcoin to rise, right? So everything else does it with it, um, goes up with Bitcoin, right? Pulls everything up together, even though XRP isn't right now, guys. And a lot of people are frustrated, but... January 23rd, Bitcoin at 38k, XRP 50 cents, February 7th. Bitcoin at 44k XRP still at 50 cents guys right but why it's because it's obviously manipulated guys if, if, if nobody's I don't know if anybody sees it but it's uh, the whole market the whole market whoever controls Bitcoin's price controls XRP's price too and I'm guessing it's them guys right we are in good hands not financial advice but if Bitcoin does head lower guys I'm going to be adding more to my XRP long now maybe there's a reason for it is because always remember Baba Cook says from, from a while back ago, XRP will rise at this at the same time as Lucifer, right? And someone says down here that uh, in Roman uh, folklore, Lucifer, quote unquote, light bringer, in Latin was the name of the planet Venus, right? And supposedly connects to the east as well, guys. That's why it's, it's west to east, right? Um. And we see here from Fifi, XRP isn't a cryptocurrency, it's an alchemical ritual, guys. There we go. So obviously, whenever they pump XRP, guys, it, it has to happen at a specific time frame, right? That's the conclusion of it. When does it happen? I don't know, but that's the end goal. That's like the finale, guys, right? The flip of the switch. But when we talk about XRP rising here normally, when it does pump like 50% or 100% in a blink of an eye, guys, that's probably going to happen soon, right? Not financial advice, but when you look at the charts, things are primed. Right, it looks beautiful, guys. Um, even though a lot of people are bearish, and I'm guessing it's going to be soon, maybe this month, next month, the month of April, who knows? But he, we may have a clue from David Schwartz why, because now, guys, there's a fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is so quite interesting. Year of the Dragon is right around the corner, right? So, uh, this was from David Schwartz back on September 30th, 2023. I need to make an AI generated awesome QR code for my proper party admi uh, admission. Here's the one I made. Nobody asked me for it though, so I didn't get to use it. And it's what, guys? Remember, he made it, guys, okay? He created this himself. And it seems to me like a what? A dragon, right? A dragon. So, obviously, he was pointing towards something, guys, right? Um,. And nobody and nobody asked um and nobody asked them guys right so he couldn't use it i'm guessing now we should he should activate this card or that qr code guys because the year of the dragon is literally in a couple of days um for the lunar calendar i think in two days guys on saturday on the 10th i think um so let us prepare right there's a lot of different calendars and whatnot so let us see what happens but it seems like we were we basically got confirmed even from Cryptomaniac guys, right? In the uh, um, with the connection to Mr. Pool and the Riddler accounts, because Mr. Pool does follow this account, if I'm not mistaken, or he used to. He says excitement phase is coming. There we go, guys. Right, we were the first people to say it. A lot of people are bearish. I don't get it, but not for nature voice, because he says excitement phase is coming, guys. Right, that's beautiful because it means we do what uh, we do. We first do what, guys up we go right we pump but what happens after because when this pump occurs because that's basically excitement remember mr pool did point towards excitement grief at one point in time right grief is afterwards with no space grief if there's no space guys right that space and then grief but if there isn't no space because there is no space right here does that mean excitement and grief at the same exact time right which would connect to some type of black swan. That's the only thing I could, because if we think about excitement phase is coming for the cryptosphere, excitement means up, everything's green, right? New all-time highs, be, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, I hope for, and I wish for a new all-time highs, right, for every crypto asset class there, every crypto uh, out there, guys. And then, but grief strikes right, right after the fact, which is, I'm guessing, that black swan occurs. I don't know, though, right? It's just purely speculation at the end of the day, so take it with a grain of salt. Um... And supposedly it ties with this right here, guys, and have proven time and time again throughout history to have turned their guns on their masters, right? Military and stuff like that, guys. So I'm guessing some type of external event that ties in with examine grief. Interesting. 
And remember, I've said before, you'll come for the Lambos, but you'll stay for the decentralized revolution that will bring humanity peace. Is, is that the case, guys, right? You, you come for the Lambo, right, the Lamborghini, but then you stay for the centralized uh, finance, which will bring humanity peace. Is that truly the case? I don't know. Is anybody really here for that, guys? Is, let, us, let us be honest with ourselves. Is anybody really here for the technology side of things, right? I'm guessing a very few amount of people, guys, a very tiny, small amount, right, such as David Shores and whatnot. But for everyone else, it's all about money, I guess, right? I, I mean, who isn't here for money, guys? But w once you do make that money, will you, stay, will you still stay here for the peace, right? Or, or for the technology, shall we say? So comment down below. That's an interesting thought, guys. Okay, so back to this topic, right? When there is examine, guys, and everyone is getting their lambos and whatnot, what happens after? Well, in Skyfall, this is the grief part. In Skyfall, James James Bond goes through the mouth of a dragon. Again, the dragon. Skyfall, James Bond, 007. Right, look at that. The mouth of a what? A dragon. Right. And it was released in the Nazis on 11-9-2012. That's insane, guys. The running the running time is 223. There is no way. Really? Wow. Uh, box office, no way guys, looks like the year of the dragon, right? This is insane to me, wait a moment. Okay, so this may give us a clue that this year we'll see, we'll see excitement and grief at the same time. If this is the case, why? Because this movie, Ray Skyfall, um, running time is one, one, uh, 143 minutes, and we see country um, November 9th, 2012, right, United States, which is what, 9-11, literally. Right, 11 as in November, the month, um, or 9, 9, uh, nine and 7, right? But if we go down here, box office, $1.109 billion, guys, right? Which is literally 11, 9, or, or 9, 11 right there, guys. That's, that's ridiculous, right? What is that? I'm guessing this, again, takes place this year, right? Examine grief again, which is fascinating. Now, Ripple has finally come back, guys. Look at this. Just tweeted out a few hours ago because our latest XRP markets report is live, detailing Q4 events in crypto that brought important topics such as compliance and anti-money uh, anti laundering into the forefront, key, regulator, uh, key regulatory and licensing wins, and the latest on the XRP ledger integrations, guys. Right. So there's a lot of good news happening with Ripple and XRP right here. Q4 2023 XRP markets reports. Basically, the reason they they do this is because of transparency, guys, right? And a lot has happened in Q4, guys, right? But the, but the internet the internet moves so quickly, guys, that I don't even know. People do forget such things. Um, but we definitely won against the SEC right, last year. Never forget, guys, on July 13th. Come on. Ripple licensing win. Uh, licensing frameworks have helped establish regulatory clarity, attracting companies, entrepreneurs, investments, and fostering sustainable innovation. In Q4, Ripple, including, um, obtained licenses in major markets, including its full major payments li uh, institution license, granted by the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Right? L look at this, guys. Uh, Central Bank of Ireland, virtual asset, guys. Right. Um, Bit license, so there's a lot of things that Ripple has done, right? And people still, uh, there's a, still a lot of fud guys, s ton. And with um, realized volatility, it seems like it is increasing. The state of of the XRP ledger, so a lot of new um, updates or upgrades are are incoming, guys. One of them include including this right here. Uh, the clawback amendment is three days from passage when. Institutions and central banks will be probably more comfortable issuing assets on the XRP ledger. Right. Right here, guys. XLS39 is now live on the mainnet. mainnet. This enables clawback functionality on the XRP ledger. Right. To increase trust and safety, this feature gives issuers the ability to recover issued tokens after they are distributed to accounts. That's insane. Right. So I guess it's definitely more centralized, 100%, guys. But it, it, remember, this isn't uh, to XRP. With XRP, you can't do that. Right. This is, I'm guessing, to the coins you issue, guys. Right. And and this is why, who will be more comfortable, institutions and central banks, right? So they could issue, um, their US, US CBDC or USDC, right? 
these people can now join the XRP Ledger class. So very interesting indeed. If we go back here, billions of dollars of XRP liquidity, right? XRP's liquidity is projected to play a pivotal role in 2025. That time stamp again, guys, that year. We at Ripple, uh, with our flagship product on demand liquidity, we're literally harnessing billions of dollars of XRP liquidity to facilitate cross border payments in a couple of seconds from, say, the US to Mexico instead of your two, three days like in legacy systems. Um, so, really so solving a, a massive pain point in this world, which is how money moves around the world. And, and these are use cases that can scale in the trillions. So I think the future of crypto liquidity uh, will be shifting more towards solving real world problems as opposed to just speculation. You know, I think everybody would agree most of the crypto liquidity right now uh, serves sort of the use case of speculation, fueled by incentives and so forth, and not denouncing that. I think you know, it empowers the industry to really innovate. Um, however, I think as, the, you know, as, as, as crypto matures and lives up to its full potential, I think this notion of real-world uh, utility will become increasingly more relevant. We have Interesting, guys, right. Expected to bridge because... We are working with Ripple. XRP on their CBDC platform, and we are consulting small countries, not like India. So they are very advanced. We are already into the CBDC platform. We are consulting small countries as one of the advisory uh, paper submission and everything on the CBDC, how they can move to CBDC. Mr. Solomon Ashok, founder of Cars Fintech and co-founder and CTO of Accelerate Finance. We are there we go, guys. Right. So the proof is in the pudding. If we're wrong, then these institutions, companies, everyone else is wrong with us. So there we go, guys. Let us see what happens in the future, right? Well, the switch be flipped at one, at one day guys one day will it will it be flipped one day who knows who knows right only the people who control the market knows not financial advice what is that so famous amazing is see ya bonus we are definitely in, in good hands it seems as because ripple ceo brian garlinghouse is about to go skiing because he started an avalanche guys right this was in davos just recently guys in, in the month of january right with those boots well Look at that. The boots, mountains, right? Hiking. Um, just got a text from Brad Garlinghouse heading to the Apex. Now we know why he wore them boots, guys, right? Rocking those moon boots. Interesting. Did he, did he meet up with? Who is it called? Big Apple Guy, one, two, and three. Right? A lot of connections towards that mountain, actually. Even with Tucker Carlson, guys. One snowball turns into an avalanche. Not financial advice.